Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding winning candidate and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Okay, let's jump right in. We are given a table called candidate with two different columns, ID and name, ID being the primary key column for this table. Each row of this table contains information about the ID and the name of a candidate. Okay. We are also given a second table called vote with two different columns again, ID and candidate ID. ID is an auto increment primary key. Candidate ID is a foreign key to the ID from the candidate table. Okay. Each row of this table determines the candidate who got the ith vote in the elections. Okay. We are asked to write a SQL query to report the name of the winning candidate. That is the candidate who got the largest number of votes. The test cases are generated so that exactly one candidate wins the elections. Okay, let's go through this example, right? So here you have different candidates, right? So their uh, IDs and the name of the candidate, A, B, C, D, E. Now you have the votes, right? So basically uh, the first vote was for candidate ID 2. For second, second vote was candidate ID 4. Third vote was candidate ID 3, etc, etc. So from this, you need to find out who got the maximum votes and based on that, what was the name of that person, right? So if you follow this logic, we can get that. So in this example, if you see two got the maximum number of votes, right? Two. So two is what is the name of the person? B, right? So that should be the output. And this is what we do. So to do this, what we can do is from this vote table, we can group by the candidate IDs and count the number of this ID because if you see for in this ID is an auto increment primary key. So non null unique values, right? So you can count it and then order by that count in decreasing order, right? And limit it to one, right? So it will give the candidate with the maximum votes, right? And then you can come back to this candidate table and see, okay, yeah. So if your ID belongs to that person who has the maximum number of votes, what's the name of that person, right? So let's start developing this query. It will be more clear now. Okay. So from this vote table, right from this vote table, let's group by the candidate ID, right? Let's group by the candidate ID and return the candidate ID, right? So return the candidate ID. So group by candidate ID, return the candidate ID, but who's where you got the maximum number of votes, right? So what you do is you write order by count of ID, right? Count of this column. And you don't need to write distinct because this is already non null unique values, right? So order by count in decreasing manner, right? So the maximum votes, the ID of the candidate who has gotten the maximum votes will come first and then you write limit one, right? And why are we writing limit one? Because if you see the test cases are generated so that exactly one candidate wins the election, right? So obviously the person who is going to win the election is going to have the maximum number of votes. And if you order by count ID in decreasing manner, that person is going to be always the first one in this, right? So that is why we are limiting it. If it was not written that exactly one candidate wins. You cannot write limit one and like that won't be the right way to do this. Then you need to approach it in a different manner. So once you have this, so basically what will this give, right? So this will give the ID of the candidate who has got the maximum votes, right? But in the output, we need the name, right? So we can come back to the candidate table. So you can put this entire thing in parentheses, right? And then you can say from the candidate table, right? Candidate table where ID in, and then this uh, ID is basically we are filtering based on the ID of the candidate who got the maximum number of votes. You got the maximum number of votes candidate ID from this, and you are filtering it. And for them, you are going to return the name column. Okay. Okay, so this looks good. Let me go ahead and run this to see what happens. Okay, so here if you see you are getting a runtime error. It says this version of MySQL does not yet support limit and in all any sub, sub query. So basically, if you see we have written a sub query with a limit in it, right? So this says uh, MySQL 
or this version of mysql does not yet support that so basically we we need to get the same logic but we need to write it in a different way now right so let's do that so the best way is save this in a common table expression and then simply you know do that so what we can do is cut this entire thing right paste it here this entire thing and let's save this in a common table expression right so with ct as and this entire thing in a common table expression right and then return name from candidate where id in return candidate id from ct okay let me run this now to see what happens okay so this is now accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yep, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again very simple question all we had to do was you know identify the candidate with the maximum number of votes and then you know limit it to one because the question says that only one person can win the selection right and then based on that what we did was we st we initially tried to you know uh, come back to the candidate table to get the name directly but it showed us that there is an error that uh, this version of mysql does not support limit you in, in within a sub query so we you know took that sub query and saved it in a common table expression and then applied the, basically the same logic but in a different way and we got the output let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video